Hey guys, what's up? So we're here to take a quick look into the first roster of champions from League of Legends Wild Rift, their roles, positions, and a bit of side story. Just a basic introduction for those who are new into the world of Runeterra. We're also gonna go alphabetically on this one. But for those of you who are too lazy for that kind of stuff, here is a quick rundown on their roles and lane positions. These are also Riot recommendations, but every now and then you'll see a champion being played in a totally different way or role and also being able to pull it off. These are just the basics though. If we go into detail, we have divers, burst, juggernauts, specialists, and a whole lot of other stuff. But let's keep it simple for now. Anyway, first is Ari. She is a mage assassin and she goes mid lane. This 9 tailed fox has a lot of unique qualities that very few mid laners have. Wave clear, mobility, CC, burst, and sustain. This makes her a great solo Q pick. So for those forever alone guys out there, Ari can be your girl when you're on solo Q. Remember though, if she doesn't get fed, she tends to lack damage. Side story. Basically a 9 tailed fox that likes to eat her memories and life essence. She has no memories of her origin or who her parents are. She travels the lands of Runeterra looking for clues about her past. Next is Alistar. He is a tank support champion and often goes as a support on the bot lane. Alistar is great at initiating team fights. He has a crowd control skill that can potentially knock up an entire team depending on the situation, as well as a damage reduction skill that enables him to soak in the damage of his opponents. Definitely a tank support champion. Side story, once a proud Minotaur warrior from the barrier mountains, but he and his homeboys were deceived by their fellow clans and were captured by the Noxus. There he became a pit gladiator in the arenas, but soon enough he escaped with the help of a hot babe servant girl. Now he travels around helping the abused against the Noxian Empire. Next one is Annie. She is a mage and goes to the mid lane. Annie is a burst type of mage. Those deadly ADCs from the opponent's team can be deleted in an instant if she gets a good shot. She has this huge pet T-burst that fights for her. She also deals out a lot of stuns, so a burst and stun mage. However though, she has a very short range. Flash or Flicker is gonna be your best option to reach those evasive ADCs and burst them down. Side story. Man, where do I start with this one? This kid has a dark and tragic story. And there's so many questions left unanswered about her lore. Like what exactly happened to her mother? Is t one of the legendary shadow bears or was it all from Annie? Anyway, long story short, her father died trying to save her from a fire that she herself started. And she pretty much killed her stepmom. Well, t did, but still. So right now, this small kid wanders the dark forest of Noxus, safe from danger because of her teddy bear t -burst. Most often though, she's the one to bring danger and harm if anyone tries to take away her teddy. Next one is Ash. She is a marksman and goes to the bot lane. Ash is a very beginner-friendly hero. Your typical ADC. Most of her damage comes from her basic attacks, but she can also slow and stun you for long durations. I think she's the record holder for the longest stun. Anyway, she is a monster once she gets fed, so be sure to play her well at the start of the game in order to reap those rewards later. Side story, Ash is an Iceborne, special individuals that can control true ice. She is also a War Mother. War Mothers are basically the leader of tribes within the Freljord. War Mothers can actually take in multiple husbands, becoming their very own personal warriors called the Bloodsorn. Providing, um, potent seeds for the War Mother is an honor for them. Ash plans to unite the whole Freljord, a land full of feud and inter-clan warfare. Next is Aurelian Soul, a literal space dragon. Aurelian Soul is one of the strongest, strongest champions in the world of Runeterra. Well, at least when it comes to lores anyway. Aurelian Soul has a very unique playstyle. His pushing abilities are just insane and he's pretty strong in the early games as well. But personally for me, one of the things that make Aurelian Soul special is his ganking capabilities. This guy can easily gank bot because of the mechanics of his skills. You'll be able to apply gank pressure to your opponents. Although with the new mechanics of the League of Legends Wild Rift, I'm wondering if he'll still have the ganking capabilities that he had in the PC version. 
Side story, Aurelion, creator of the sun itself, and so much more. This guy literally creates stars and planets, although he wasn't the one who created Runeterra. Like I said, one of the strongest beings in the League of Legends universe. However, this ancient celestial being was tricked and captured by the guys from Targon. That's so smart, right? Basically, the mortals offered him a crown in tribute to his greatness. But surprise, surprise, it's a freaking trap. So they now got this huge dragon butt full of knowledge about the creation of suns, planets, and the universe itself. Basically, it's Celestial 101. And with those knowledge came the creation of the dreadful sun disks. And that's it guys, those were just 5 champions. We're gonna go through all 36 of them in the upcoming videos. Now again, with regards to the rules and positions, those are just the basic standards. Once you get more experience in the game, you'll learn that certain champions can defy those rules. Anyway, that's it for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.